The Switch tells the story of attractive and single Cassie, who's concerned about her lack of a love life and her biological clock that is fast ticking. She decides to have a child through a known donor, despite the objections from her best friend Wally Mars, who secretly loves her, but is too chicken-hearted to tell her. The story starts seven years ago, with a monologue by Wally about the human race and connections. Wally is Cassie's best friend for over 12 years. He is an equities analyst, who has a penchant for wearing sweater vests. He is secretly in love with Cassie, suffers from hypochondria, which is the fear of dying by an unknown disease, best at sharing pictures of growths on his body with his friends, and downright neurotic. At a street corner, a man with an unsound mind, insultingly calls him a beady eye little man boy, and this upsets him. He spots Cassie waiting for him, at a crowded diner, and over food she tries to make him feel better over the comment, which he feels is a reflection of him. He shows her a picture of a growth on his body, and Cassie is grossed out by it. Cassie tells him about her declining fertility, due to her age, and her decision to have a child via a donor. He is surprised about this news, and tries to give her a hard time about it, but Cassie insists on her choice. He is not too happy when she tells him that she would be needing his help during the process. On the train, they continue their bickering, while he tries to talk her out of it. He makes up stories about disastrous outcomes of such procedures, but Cassie calls his bluff. When Wally suggests that he becomes the donor, she is lost for words and mortified at the suggestion. She tells him that he is neurotic, pessimistic, and self-absorbed, and it is a weird idea, since they are best friends, before she flees the train. At work, Wally shares what happened with his friend and co-worker, Leonard, who has three failed marriages under his belt, which Wally never forgets to point out. He consoles him and points out that Wally shares too much too soon, and this is why Cassie put him in the friend zone when they dated six years ago. Cassie invites Wally to her friend Debbie's supposed 30th birthday party. Debbie is not impressed with Wally and his love life and lack of it. Cassie defends him and declares him her best friend, who has her back all the time to Debbie's chagrin. On their way to the party, Cassie scolds Wally for not getting Debbie a gift for her birthday, and they laugh over it. He looks weary when a cheery Cassie informs him of her choice for a donor she can always meet and communicate with, rather than an anonymous donor. They go over her choice of donor features, which Wally finds amusing. At the party, Wally stands at a corner, eating nuts while he observes the party. Debbie approaches him for a dance, he refuses, and she taunts him on his choice of clothing. They have a love and hate relationship between themselves, and only tolerate each other because of their mutual friend Cassie. He notices Cassie chatting animatedly with another man. He interrupts them and drags her to the rooftop. They have a heated argument, and he tells her that the man Declan is married, and should not be considered for the donor position. This pisses Cassie off. Wally locks her up and takes matters into his hands. He sends Declan out on a wild goose chase, all the way to Washington Heights, in search of Cassie. A fuming Cassie does not appreciate this gesture from him, when she learns of what he did. She accuses him of being weird and unsupportive lately. Wally clearly does not support her decision, to have a child through the means she is pursuing. A visibly hurt Cassie asks for some time out between them. He realizes he misses Cassie after a week of not seeing her. Frustrated with these feelings, he becomes moody and spends time at the gym. He receives a card inviting him to Cassie's trying to conceive party with pink and blue streamers. He is quite curious about the party and when he sees Debbie, she gives him some herbal pills to put him more in a party spirit. He takes it and washes it down with some alcohol. He meets the donor Roland, the Viking according to Debbie, a handsome, smooth-talking, and married assistant professor. He points out his wife to Wally, confiding in him that he is in it for the money, but Wally develops an instant dislike to him. He finds Cassie sitting by the window in her room, in a subdued mood, while her party is carrying on. She expresses how terrifying she feels about the process. Wally calms her down and reassures her that she is doing the best for herself. Drunk Wally goes to use the restroom and finds himself in the bathroom, with Roland's sample for the procedure in a sample cup. He plays with it and accidentally empties it down the sink. In panic and with great haste, he replaces the spilled sample with his own. The next day at work, he suffers a terrible hangover and is sick to his stomach. Leonard is worried about him and tries to remind Wally that he arrived drunk at his house the night before, but Wally does not remember any of it. In the next scene, he goes with Cassie to see a movie. He ends up complaining about. Cassie suddenly informs him that she is pregnant, and this leaves him speechless. Two weeks later, Cassie packs up and relocates to Minnesota to be closer to her parents, who will help her with the baby. She buys him a terrier as a parting gift. Cassie's move greatly affects him, he spends his time thinking about her. They only communicate through Christmas cards and emails, which in his books are not considered enough. After two failed relationships and numerous blind dates, where he continuously puts his feet in his mouth, he realizes that his life is lonely without Casey. It's seven years later and Cassie confirms that she is moving back to New York with her son, Sebastian. 
This news puts him in a good mood, and they arrange to reconnect over dinner. Wally is hesitant to meet Sebastian, but Cassie encourages him to, and also advises him to get him a sort of welcome gift. Wally learns that Sebastian is not athletic, and prefers to collect picture frames. He takes a picture frame from his table, discards the picture in it, and wraps it up as a gift for Sebastian. He takes his time to dress up, and at the restaurant, he stares longingly at Cassie, having missed her for such a long time, before approaching her table. They are genuinely happy to see each other, and they share a deep hug. Cassie compliments him on his dressing. When he asks about Sebastian, Cassie points him out at the fish tank. Wally mistakes him for another child, but is surprised when he realizes that Sebastian is the sad little boy watching the fish. Cassie warns him that he is having adjustment issues because of the move and might not be in the best of moods. Sebastian is an intelligent, precocious young boy and appears to be too much of a handful for his mother to handle. He returns to his seat and informs his mom that he has a certain disease. Cassie confirms that he is paranoid as a result of watching too many WebMD. When she introduces him to Uncle Wally, he only gives him a feeble high. Wally hands over his gift to Sebastian with a smile, aiming to score a point with him. But the young boy unwraps the frame and queries him about the original picture that came with the frame. He tags the frame used and returns it to a surprised Wally and an exhausted Cassie. Wally is excited to treat them to a delicious meal. As the chef approaches their table with a mighty looking duck, which he ordered ahead, Sebastian doesn't share in his excitement as he announces that he does not eat ducks. Wally is astonished. While the boy launches a long lecture on how ducks are maltreated in farms, with the fault resting solely on mankind. At this point, Wally is lost for words as he considers the $84 he spent on the duck. He keeps looking for help from Cassie, who looks resigned to her fate, as she tags her son stubborn. Sebastian later agrees to eat rice with soy sauce, after threatening to hate Uncle Wally if he forces him to eat the duck. Cassie encourages Wally to have some quality bonding time with Sebastian, while she attends a PTA meeting for his new school. Wally does not look too happy about this task. He is further confused when he notices that Sebastian makes the same happy sounds he makes when enjoying a meal, although he does not connect any meaning to it. On their way home, Cassie apologizes to him about the duck incident, as Wally ends up going home with it. He is surprised when Sebastian runs into a store. After his mom told him not to, she tells him about raising her son, the seed guy story, which is his conception story, and the science experiment labeling by his former classmates. Wally does not look too happy when he finds out that Cassie has been in contact with Ronald, the donor guy, and that Cassie has plans of introducing him to meet Sebastian at some point. He finds it more disturbing when he learns that Ronald is divorced from his wife. In the next scene, Cassie happily meets with Ronald over tea. They discuss his failed marriage, which is still a sore topic for him. Ronald is happy to see her, and when Cassie shows him a picture of Sebastian, he declares that the boy looks more like him than his mother. Ronald respects Cassie for her decision to have her child by herself. This leaves her emotional, as she doesn't receive enough compliments on her strength. Wally takes Sebastian to the zoo to see some penguins. He realizes that they both have the same stance. He is forced to reposition himself. Sebastian shows that he is willful and has a mind of his own when they debate over penguins. He informs Wally of his upcoming birthday. Wally advises him to enjoy his birthday now, because they suck when older. Sebastian's interest is piqued, and they have a soulful discussion on birthdays and accomplishments. They bond over the knowledge that they suffer from the condition hypochondria, which makes them think they have diseases they do not have. At the park, after failed attempts to get Sebastian to talk about his school, Wally, from his personal experience, finds out that Sebastian suffers from bullying in school. He advises him to stand up to the bully by acting crazy, since no one messes with the crazy and unpredictable person. On the bus, with Sebastian resting on Wally, he is complimented by a woman that they look alike. But he tells her that Sebastian isn't his son. When asked of his age, he doesn't sound too sure. He finds it weird when the woman tells him that Sebastian looks like a little him, even though they share same mannerism of covering their ears when they hear a loud noise, but it is not noticed by anyone. Cassie is happy to learn that the two of them had a wonderful day. In Cassie's house, Wally is mesmerized as he watches Cassie prepare Sebastian for bed. After wrapping up with mommy duties, they go over their pictures and moments together from the past over wine. Cassie talks about the big elephant in their relationship, from the time they shared a private moment at a party, which left Wally running for the hills. They share a heated look, but are interrupted by Sebastian calling for his mother. They both call it a night as they run away from the discussion. Wally freaks out when he realizes that there are tons of similarities between Sebastian and him. He confirms from Leonard that the boy might be his, and not of Ronald the Viking alleged donor guy, based on the visit drunk Wally paid him after Cassie's party seven years ago. Wally is furious that he never hinted to him about the possibility. He never connected the dots that Ronald was who he referred to as the Viking years ago. Leonard asks him to come over to his house to hash out the issue. He tries so hard to remember what happened that night until it hits him, and he remembers that he replaced Ronald's sample with his own. 
He is gutted by his behavior and decides to tell Cassie everything that happened. Leonard points out that it is a challenging situation and he should involve a lawyer, but Wally refuses to involve any. At Cassie's house, Cassie is in the bath, so Sebastian answers the door and informs him that he has insomnia. Wally notices that his son keeps switching through different channels. Sebastian says that he is watching all of them. In a bid to teach him some manners, he snatches the remote from him. He informs the boy that they will be in each other's lives for long but chickens out from telling the real reason why. While squabbling over the remote control, Cassie comes in and is surprised to see Wally. Wally insists they go outside to talk. He tries to beat around the bush before preparing her for the news he has for her. Cassie misunderstands him and confesses that she also feels a certain energy between them. When she realizes that she misconstrued what Wally was trying to tell her, she is embarrassed and tries to laugh off the uncomfortable position she put herself. She alleges it to stress from work and Roland, which piques Wally's interest. She bids him a good night, but finds out that Sebastian has locked her outside the house. Wally corners her and questions her on the Roland issue. She confirms that she is dating Roland and they have gone book reading, but she is still planning to introduce him to Sebastian. This news makes Wally agitated and feels threatened by Roland's increasing appearance in Cassie's life. Cassie is tired with all the questions he throws her way. When Sebastian opens the door, she flees to her room in great haste. Sebastian confirms with Wally that his mom is mad and sadly tells him that she has a new boyfriend. He also reminds him that he is six and not five and invites him to his upcoming birthday party. Wally looks at him with all the love in the world and promises to be there for the party. In the next scene, Roland takes Sebastian rock wall climbing as a birthday gift, but he does not want to as he is not athletic, just like his real father. Wally meets Cassie and tries to rehash the events of the previous day, but she is adamant about not going over it. Roland slides down the rope and recognizes Wally from Cassie's party. Although Wally does not remember, Wally hesitantly hands over Sebastian's gift to Roland, who insists on taking it. He dislikes it that Roland is in charge of the gifts, and he also got Cassie the rock climbing outfit she is wearing. Cassie tells him to be nice. At the other end, Sebastian is arguing with the instructor. Roland goes over to help him wear his harness, but Sebastian does not want to climb the rock. Roland ignores his complaints and convinces him to climb, but the boy does not look too happy about it. Wally knows Sebastian is not really athletic and finds out from Cassie that he really wants to celebrate his birthday at the shelter and save one dog from being someone's food. He is impressed with the idea, but his mom wants him to be active and athletic. Sebastian cries out. His mom and Wally look up in surprise to see him too high up on the wall. He's alarmed and doesn't want to let go. Wally tries to wear his harness to go help him out, but Athletic Ronald swiftly wears his harness, climbs the wall and brings down Sebastian in seconds. Sebastian is visibly mad about the exercise, and he doesn't fail to tell Ronald his mind. He runs to his mom and takes a quiet Wally's hands. Ronald is saddened by his outburst, but Wally consoles him. They go out for drinks, there Ronald informs him that he plans to take Cassie out to his family's cabin. Wally is rattled and tries to leave. Ronald admits to him that he doesn't relate to Sebastian's neuroticism. This puts Wally in Papa Bear mode, and he defends Sebastian. Ronald is intrigued by Wally's outburst and concludes that he is also neurotic, but he promises to get past Sebastian's defenses. At a frame store to get a new frame for Sebastian, Wally complains to Leonard about Ronald. He does not hide his irritation towards the other man and his plan to act like a father to his son. Leonard advises him to speak with Cassie first, but it is not that easy, because while Wally has feelings for Cassie, she is already dating Ronald. He is stuck between expressing his feelings to her, which might lead to ruining their friendship, and remaining Uncle Wally forever. Wally gets a distress call from Cassie. She's stuck in Michigan, with Ronald in his family's cabin. She informs him that Sebastian has lice and cannot continue his sleepover with his friend. She instructs him on some things to do, to take care of the boy. Wally picks him up and gets some lice medicine, and some other essentials to treat the lice problem. He follows her instructions to the T, while also being dramatic about it. They bond over this experience, until Sebastian is officially deloused. Sebastian tells him about his framed pictures, and the imaginary stories he has created about the picture models. The stories are all about his imaginary family. Wally looks crestfallen by this, and he tells him that his father left when he was young. Sebastian gifts him one of his frames that has a father and a son, and Wally is touched by the kind gesture. The next morning, the father and son duo look all domesticated, making pancakes for breakfast together and sharing funny jokes. Cassie quietly comes into the kitchen and is excited to see them having such a good time. Sebastian shows her the dead lice which they stored in a jar. She comments on the shower cap Wally is wearing, but does not believe him when he tells her that he could have lice. She talks about the cabin, but Wally feigns disinterest. She informs him that she will be taking Sebastian there some time. His interest is piqued at the mention of Sebastian. Cassie also tells him that they would be moving in together with Roland. He calls it a mistake, but Cassie does not appreciate his input. She defends Roland and insists that she is taking risks and advises Wally to do same. 
She gives him a leeway and asks him if he has anything to say to her, but Wally does not take it. This leaves her disappointed. Roland interrupts them and announces that he has beer made by his mom and thanks him for being on Lice Patrol. Wally leaves Cassie's house dejected and continues to be miserable as a result of the latest development. Wally opens his door to a Sebastian. He divulges that Wally's advice to stand up to his bully did not work. Wally consoles him with a big hug as he is almost in tears. He is surprised when he learns that the boy walked 20 kilometers to his house from the park. Wally decides to call Cassie, but Sebastian is adamant and insists that Wally take him home to his mother. Cassie is shocked to see her son bruised. Cassie does not know what to make out of the situation. That Sebastian reached out to Wally first, they are interrupted by the crowd that comes out, and Cassie informs Wally that she is having lunch with Roland's family. Sebastian looks longingly at Wally as he is taken inside. Wally follows them inside, but is put out by the dramatic Roland. Roland is pretty happy with himself, as he proudly shows Wally the engagement ring he bought for Cassie. It dawns on Wally that it is time to say the truth to Cassie, or forever remain Uncle Wally. He apologizes to Roland, and leaves him looking confused, and approaches Cassie cleaning Sebastian up. He draws her out of the kitchen to the hallway. Roland at this moment calls for Cassie's attention. She goes to him ignoring Wally asking her to stay. Everyone is focused on Roland as he goes on and on about meeting Cassie. Wally keeps whispering to get Cassie's attention, but she ignores him. Wally takes the bull by the horns and interrupts Roland's speech. He confesses that he is Sebastian's father because he replaced Roland's sample with his. The room is as quiet as a graveyard. Everyone including Cassie is shocked at his admission. He confesses his love to her, and this leaves Roland and his brother's jaws almost hanging on the floor. At this point, Wally is emotional, as he tears up and receives a slap from an infuriated Cassie. She warns him not to come close to her and her son. Debbie comes in with Sebastian, and is shocked to witness the slap. Wally apologizes to Roland, who's still recovering from the turn of events of his failed proposal. Debbie is more shocked to see that she missed an almost proposal. He tells Sebastian that he is proud of him, and Sebastian hands the pack of peas to massage his cheek, where Cassie slapped him. He wakes a sleepy Leonard at 4 a.m. and informs him that he has lost both Cassie and Sebastian. His friend consoles him and tells him that he did the right thing. While he does not feel so, he admits to Leonard that they are his home and he has lost them. He goes back to being moody and same can be said of Cassie. She smiles only when Sebastian is around her, but is largely melancholic as she stares into nothing and is always in deep thoughts. Wally is surprised to find Cassie outside his workplace after work hours, waiting for him. She informs him that he is allowed to see Sebastian, since he is his son, but on her terms. Apparently Sebastian misses him a lot. She confesses that she broke off with Ronald, even though he is a perfect guy, because he is not Wally. He is happy to hear this news. He asks her if she would marry him, and she responds probably. They stare longingly into each other's eyes, and share a private moment on the streets. Wally's voice comes on a monologue on how things always fall into place. It's Sebastian's sixth birthday, and it's a very festive and a decorated house. Wally mans the grill. He shares a passionate moment with Cassie, and they look deeply in love with each other. Leonard plays the piano, as the crowd sing the happy birthday song for Sebastian. He dedicates his birthday to a three-legged dog whose face is on his cake. Sebastian insists that someone must take the dog and save him from being meat at the shelter before he blows out his candles. Debbie with apprehension agrees to take him. Sebastian is satisfied and blows out his candles happily. Wally's voice comes up finally with a message of hope. He believes that something unexpected will always happen that will push people forward. He concludes that the human race is not a race after all. There are various pictures of Wally, Cassie and Sebastian looking happy as a real family, which have replaced the frames with generic pictures that Sebastian kept in his room. 